This is potassium nitrate through a microscope. As you can see, the particles are pretty coarse. These would have to be ground up before they have any use in any pyrotechnic substance. Now, the point of this video is to show how certain tools such as the microscope can be useful in pyrotechnics. It's uh, quite uncommon in the amateur field, but it's very useful for problem solving. Again, this is potassium nitrate, but as you can see, it's a much finer powder, about 200 to 350 mesh. This makes an excellent black powder. When mixed in with charcoal, it fits inside the pores. Now, what you can do is you can take a pyrotechnic substance that you've already made, you can put it under a microscope, and say you're having some problems with it. It's not, it's not burning right. Um, what you can do is you can measure how big these particles are. This is a sample of ruby red star composition. Now I've been having some problems with it. It's not burning right and it's not rolling up right. I'm going to go for one thing. The oxidizer. Strontium nitrate. Dead center in the middle of the camera here, you can see a large transparent particle. Now the only transparent substance in my ruby red composition would have to be the strontium nitrate. Now what I'll do is I will take some oxidizer strontium nitrate and put this on a separate slide. I will measure how big these two particles are and compare them. I think we have a match. The two samples have identical particles. Now this may indicate two things. One, these particles are very large. That means that could be the problem. The sample of ruby red has no other large particles besides ones that look like this. So that could be the culprit, strontium nitrate. So in conclusion, that's the problem. My strontium nitrate needs to be ground finer. This technique can be used on virtually all pyrotechnic compositions, including black powder, which I have displayed here. As you can see, all of the particles in the sample are evenly distributed, and they are about the same size. There are no large lumps of chemicals that seem transparent, so this must mean this is a good batch. Microscopes can range from $60 to $100 or maybe even more, but in my opinion, it's a good investment. You could solve all sorts of problems with this relating to compositions, to particle size, plus they're pretty cool when you're bored.